My name is Henry Edward Hardy. I've lived in Somerville for 13 years. Uh, my project uh, is based on uh, digital computer art using the Midjourney program. It's called Windows on Other Worlds. A lot of it is based on my role-playing game and stories about life on Mars in an alternate universe. Also song lyrics, one or two political cartoons, a variety of things was only uh, after uh, retiring from Tufts that I got back into doing art through uh, a project I did using a, another di digital art program called Deep Dream Generator, which I started on a, a scholarship from Artisans Asylum here in Somerville. This had kind of developed organically. I didn't set out. Uh, I didn't foresee that I would ever have an art show or represent myself as an artist, but that happened. What I like is the process of discovery. I'll do at least 20 or 30 of these, often upwards of 80 to 100, uh, to get these 21 images. I've done, since August 24th, about 22,000, so I'm picking one out of 1,000. I find it very interesting to see what other people are doing. Part of Midjourney is it's a community where you can all see each other's work and the queries that we're using to, to generate it. And then the other interesting part of this project has been learning about printing, about color registration, about paper, about how to do archival quality, how to do uh, very high quality printing. And so each time I've done these, they've gotten better and better, higher resolution, uh, more density, better clarity. My next step is going to be like what I did with Deep Dream Generator to start to incorporate my photography as seed images and you know, try to mix and, mix and match a little bit like that. My name is George Teshu. I live in Somerville. And um, this is my artwork. Um, on the top here. The way that I work is maybe a little different from some artists. I don't, I don't use models. I don't use uh, photographs. I just simply sit down and draw or paint. I just uh, kind of record whatever comes to me. I really love what I do. Subject matter mostly is women, and I've always felt that women have a, a spiritual nature, a connection with the divine. And they just seem to be a natural subject for my artwork. I'm also beginning to appreciate and incorporate animals in a lot of my artwork and learning how to portray them better. I have been creating art, I guess, all together about 35 years. I was inspired by all of the creative activity going on around me. There seem to be lots of, uh, you know, painters, Poets, writers, dancers, creative people of all types in Somerville, which is really exciting to me. I was inspired to start painting again, and I've been kind of uh, doing that ever since. I feel like I'm going strong right now. I'm not going to quit, <laughs> and I'm really enjoying it, and I really appreciate this opportunity here that I'm able to share what I do with other people, with the community here. I do like this one a lot. It's called Night Angel. It's an oil painting. An image came to me of an angel appearing in the middle of the night. There are lights on in the house, and there seem to be like people in there, but like I don't know who they are or why the angel is there. Pretty much all of my paintings, they're mysterious to me as well as to the people that look at them, but I think that sort of a great thing in a way because they're interesting and absorbing and I hope that you know people get an interest and a pleasure at, from looking at them. The best thing would be to go to my uh, website which is teshuart.com. Hi, so uh, I'm John Ryman. I'm a Somerville local, grew up in the area and by day I'm a teacher and by night I'm an artist. I was always the student drawing uh, in class, so as a teacher now when I see that, I'm like, I, I got you. Keep doing that. That'll <laughs> that's important to you. Really, I, I'm just a huge 
fantasy and science fiction just addict and nerd. I think like what kicked it off for me was when I was younger, I read the Redwall series by Brian Jackies, and there's just these really beautiful descriptions of natural scenes, and I wanted to draw that, and that's what I would do. I would draw little mouse warriors and all these things growing up. I moved from figures to landscapes and scenery as I got older, and I became more active outdoors. If I'm not doing my job or going about my day-to-day -day business, I'm backpacking, I'm hiking. You have a lot of downtime there to sort of just look around and see the world. I just got really inspired by shapes that nature makes, I guess, and coupling that with all these really fantastic narratives that I've read, you can kind of just create these stories and live in them, and that's really satisfying for me, to live in these stories as you make them. I'll start with this one right here, and I was like, hey, I want to do something that's super stylized and really geometric, and so this one I liked because I, I feel like I accomplished that. This one right here, I was like, I want to make a picture of what early Christendom may have thought paganism was, and it turned into this weird Halloween-y blood ritual. I got really into the line art in it, and then sort of the lighting and just the atmosphere. And this one, I was like, I want it to be more technical. I want to draw space as it may actually exist. And then I get a bit illustrative, I guess, with the color on the ship. But I, I love it because there's something new that I find in every piece. If I'm drawing a sunset in a barren landscape, it's tough not to channel the inner Tatooine. Yes, I'm a huge nerd, and, and there's a little bit of it in everywhere. Especially modern science fiction movies just happen to be really well directed, and the cinematography is just so inspiring. So I love movies, and I come out of them being like, man, there's a great shot in there, and I want to take one part of that. 